Only a week after an historic ice storm left more than 400,000 in New Hampshire without power, Mother Nature returned to a more traditional form of winter weather Friday, handing the Granite State a snowstorm that dumped up to 10 inches of the white stuff in southern parts of the state. Manchester residents began preparing Friday afternoon by stopping at the city highway department to fill sand buckets. Despite the short time to recover from the ice storm, the city public works director said his department was ready. Uh, we'll have our salters out immediately. Once we start seeing accumulation, we'll get the plows out on the streets. We're expecting six to nine inches. Not too sure where it's going to be. But we have called a snow emergency tonight. It's real important. People stay off the streets so that we can clear the streets uh, for emergency vehicles to get through, as well as hopefully tomorrow morning the streets will be open for most people to drive the streets safely. Many schools, which had already been shut down for a time this week due to the ice storm, let out early Friday, such as here at Highland Goffs Falls School. The snow made for a messy commute home for many, and those who had hoped to get in some Christmas shopping Friday afternoon were faced with a slippery South Willow Street. With another storm forecast for Sunday, those last-minute shoppers may need some help from Santa, or four-wheel drive, to complete their lists. For UnionLeader.com, this is J.D. Enright.